This video is sponsored by Longer. Interested in picking up your own portable laser engraver at a discount? Check out the video description for more details. Enjoy the video. Greetings. In this video, we assemble the slide extension for the Nano Pro 12 watt. If you need help with the rotary extension or the Nano Pro itself, check out our other videos. The links are in the description. Don't have one yet? Want a big discount? Well, details are in there too. Okay, back to the video. Well, here begin the assembly of the slide extension for the Nano Pro uh, 12 watt. There's not a lot of parts here, so this should go pretty quick. Um, everything is covered in the manual. In the last section, uh, under the section slide extension quick start guide, uh, it gives us uh, some specifications here, as well as some parts list that we're gonna need. Now, um, I've made sure to lay out all the parts that um, are separate to the assembly. Uh, if you're familiar with the other components, um, the rotary extension, for example, there's this riser part. They're shared between both extensions or both parts. So uh, today we're gonna we're gonna uh, get started on that. Here's our final installation as well. If you notice there, we kind of feature that. I'll just kind of bring that up closer to the camera. Here, move it up a little bit further. There we go. So that's what we're gonna build today. Um, all right, so to use that, we got our single Allen wrench that we that we need for this whole entire assembly, which is really nice. Um, okay, so to begin, let's switch over to page, this page here. Um, for product installation, they're just giving you uh, kind of a reference there of what you'll need to do. Um, first off with the Nano Pro, you'll need to add the extension onto that for the unit, but we're gonna get into the actual, just fo focusing on the, the slide extension itself. We'll worry about the Nano Pro uh, next. So for this, they, they show us that there's the platform here that we need to, to assemble first. In order to do that, um, they say that we need to put this plate here, and I'm just gonna put that there. Maybe I'll put that there. So we got this plate, you can see here, this guy. So we're gonna do something with this guy, and I think what they want us to do first is to, it looks like from the instructions, to put this directly onto the slide. So we're gonna do that. So maybe what I'll do is I'll move these up out of the way. Okay. Move our manual as well. And we're gonna need some hardware for this. I'm gonna put this right in front of me so I could get to it. I'll put the manual right here too. Okay, so. at the instructions here they want it to go this way so if you notice the the gap going across that okay so and there's not a lot Let's see four eight ten uh, bolts and it looks like they're m5s m5 tens so we got our trusty allen wrench and so they say to put it, I think, on here first. And what they really want you to do is just kind of fit it in place. And I believe the numbers go on the outside. So maybe we'll start with the closest one and we'll work our way through. But if you notice here, there's holes that allow you to, um, they're all threaded, which is good. This will, these screws will pass right through into that. But if you notice here, some of them are threaded directly onto this, this unit here. And this allows this whole assembly to stay on the track. And um, I'm going to start with those first, just so that way this is not going anywhere and it, it doesn't wander. So I'm going to try, let's see here. I'm going to try to put it in the middle here first, um, right there. And then I'll just line it up. See, it's going to be a little tricky to do that. And you know what I'm going to do first? I think I'm going to do this. Put this here. All right. Then do the other holes. 
just use the other holes as a guide to figure out where the center is. There it is. There. Okay. So that's the, the best practice here is to um, just simply look overhead straight down. So move that in the middle here. So yeah, you look overhead and you see the other ones and just line those up and that's where you get your center here. So now that I've got that in place, I can kind of just kind of pl place that there. We're going to need a few more. So I'm going to do this and take out a, a few. Okay. Again, trying to line up here. So that went a little better. I'm not going to tighten them completely up yet in case I need to make any final adjustments. Okay. So, make it easier on myself. Again, I'm not tightening them up too much, just so I don't have to in the future here, okay? All right, so now, get out a couple more here. I'm gonna do the same thing with that center. Again, I'm lining them up. Probably a good idea to just put it directly on the, the wrench itself. So what I want to do though too is just to make sure that this gap is even. Just so that way it's not, you know, twisted in any way. Um, you want to make sure because since this is where your material is going to lie, you want to make sure that the depth is consistent across the top because wherever your material goes and your, you know, your engraver starts engraving, you know, it's going to impact the, the overall um, quality of your output. So want to make sure that everything's level. All right, and final one here. So again, 10 of these guys. All right. Okay, so now, again, it looks pretty, pretty even for me. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of tighten these up here, work my way around. I can see it. Kind of tricky to see. Okay. So that's now on. We move on to the next step. And it looks like this, this next step is actually on the same page still. Can I kind of show that here? You can see. Looks like we're going to be using these. There's two of them. The rulers. And they, um, they go across, I believe. So I'm not really sure if the ruler needs to be on the inside, probably, just so you can see. But like something like this and like that. All right, so next what we're gonna have to do is use these, um, these thumb screws or thumb knobs, I should say. And they kind of look like, like that. They have a thread on the bottom and, you know, just grippy and they go, they're supposed to go right here, I believe. Um, there's four of them. So we're going to try to get those out. If I can do that. Sometimes it's tricky because there's, they're tight in there and I'm just going to grab all of them. And also, so put these just from there for right now. <laughs> and then they use uh, these guys. So they're like, I don't know if I can put it right here or not but it is just, a, all it is basically is a, a stud that will slide in these tracks. These are like T-tracks 
key channels. I believe they just slide in here. So uh, to do that, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assemble these first on here, just, to, just enough to where they're on. Okay, first one, and again, I only, I only turned it a couple, you know, nothing, nothing too much because the reason is I have a feeling and just from experience with other T-channels is if you do it too much, you're gonna be cutting your, the, the, it won't fit in the channel at all. So, and there we go, yes, okay. So it looks like we're able to move and I'm, I'm assuming anyway, you can adjust your, these are also good for holding parts down or putting them, you know, getting your, your right angles and so forth and, and measurements there. So I'm just gonna tighten it down for now and leave it there. The next one we gotta do is the same, same with these studs. So whoop, flip it over here. I'm just gonna put a couple more on here, right? Like that. Okay, not too much. And same thing with this one, flip it over. Okay. And like that. Okay. And same deal. Um, but I'm gonna flip it over so that the numbers are facing on the inside so it's a little easier to, to keep track of. I th I'm imagining that's how it's gonna have to be. I don't think there's a specific way to do it. It's your preference. But I figure if I'm gonna look at it, I'm gonna do it that way. That's gonna be my preference. All right. And let me loosen that up. There we go. Okay. Cool. All right, I think that is good. I'll just tighten down for now. Okay, now the next thing that we need is these, I believe these clamps, at least that would be logical, I think. So, let's see. Yeah, they show the clamps on here and the clamps are all one assembly. So there's nothing um, special you need to do with these clamps, um, which is nice. But I think just from the illustrations that I've seen, yeah, here we go. I'll just show you an illustration here. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but they all seem to be oriented on one side as opposed to on multiple sides. And I assume it's because um, unlike a CNC machine, um, which if you're familiar with this channel, that's what we do. Um, you Generally speaking, you want to secure your part because uh, the uh, spindle <laughs> is going to be um, cutting into it, which could potentially potentially cause it to move. In this case, motion isn't really necessary because the la the laser isn't physically moving the uh, the object. So you just need to hold it in place. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of nice. Now, obviously, this moves, but again, you know, your material's unlikely to just uh, randomly shift. So that's that's kind of nice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put this again. It's got these little clamps in here, and so I believe. And again, I'm, I'm orienting this, this guy right here. Let me just kind of show you here. So this guy can move here. This is your, this, will, this is your work holding piece, right? It's so the spring loaded. So you can put your piece under it, under the surface here, right? Um, but to clamp it, cause your material is going to go here. Imagine you can just put your clamps on one side. So I'm going to put it in the, um, I think I can put it in here, the measurement track. It could be wrong. No, I'm wrong. So there we go. So you just put it that way. Um, so yeah, this measurement line, this track here isn't for, it's only for um, that uh, that ruler to go into. You know, I say ruler, but you know, really in reality, it's, it's, a, it's a clamp itself. It's a, a guide. All right. And then same thing with this one. Cool. And then the same thing for the other one too. These are nice though. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm impressed by the fact that um, the simplicity of it, but yet it just, it would work. I mean, this would work really well for holding material down. I mean, life is just so much easier with a laser engraver than it is with a, a say a CNC machine, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot more difficulty when it comes to um, uh, trying to secure a part. So this is almost stress-free. <laughs> so that's nice. All right, so uh, the next illustration here, um, again, is the 
the look of this one here. So, yeah. So you can see here again, they're, they're showing the whole assembly underneath, um, you know, with the extension on the, the Nano Pro. So we're gonna show that next. So if you notice, I've already torn down the Nano Pro. If yours was already assembled with the Nano Pro attached here, just simply adjust the, the screw, make sure you're holding onto the handle and to remove the Nano Pro. Um, now in this case here, I'm just going to place, uh, well, put that there. And then I'm going to take this one. And again, this moves um, forward or this way, I'm sorry. Let's go this way, right here. All right, and I'm gonna double check just in case. It mentions it right here in the manual, again, near the end. And in this case, it looks like that is correct. So it is pointing in the right orientation out. Then mount this, the laser, right on top. Very good. Okay, just make sure you have a secure grip of the uh, Nano Pro. I wanna drop that. Okay, let's see here. This whole assembly goes that way like so interestingly so we just kind of place it this way like so oh, and then we got our wiring so of course this one red is easy red's pc so i already plug in that one it has to plug it into your pc with usb this is a usb a blue that is nice i do like those illustrations in there Less guesswork is always good. Okay, and then there we've got our our yellow, which uh, our green is our fan, which goes under the uh, the little cover. But we don't need that. So then we've got this one. It goes in the back of the uh, USB. Can't really see it, unfortunately, on camera, but it's there. So cool. And that literally is it. You hook up your your laptop and install your software, and you're good to go. So kind of move over here that's it I mean that's literally the slide assembly with uh, all the components attached and our, our wiring is done it's so simple um, yeah I think I think uh, most people should be able to put this together pretty quickly um, if you're someone like me it might take a little longer thanks for watching the assembly of the slide extension for the Nano Pro Check out our other videos in the series where we show the assembly of the Nano Pro 12 watt laser unit itself and our other video of the rotary extension. Stay tuned for the official review video of the Nano Pro 12 watt. And of course, if this kind of content piques your interest, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free and it really does help my channel to grow. Don't forget, as an exclusive offer for CNC time-lapse viewers, Longer is offering a steep discount on the Nano Pro 12 watt. So check out the link in the video description. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see and see you later.